guys and welcome back to my channel so today we have a very different video uh, i have done an unboxing video today or before but uh today i really wanted to do one uh, based on my hobby so i collect a uh, littlest pet shop i've been doing it i mean i collected them when i was little but it was more for so for play it's in college that i was like you know what uh let me look into this again and then i just realized oh my gosh people actually collect these like that's what i want to do i haven't gotten that many uh, since then just because it, they're so expensive like if you want to buy like the old ones now that they've taken out g7 or generation 7 they know what they're doing but there's this feeling of if i don't get them now they're not going to come back and i won't be able to get them again and that's horrible because then i'm like now they're already on wave two and wave one is starting to go away and i'm like oh my gosh did not collect basically any of wave one like I had maybe four pets total of what like 69 of them and I had like four and I was like no and the thing is prices go up so high as soon as like people realize you can't get them anymore like I was already looking online and some sets were already going for like some that you could buy for like ten dollars they were going for about 25 and this is they just came out like they're not scarce but they're selling for way more than their actual value is and i'm like no please i just want to get them before they get really expensive and then i can't collect anymore so basically long story short i have some little pet shop here here i have some new little pet shop that i just bought i got this at five below it's the pet nooks you can get these i think in the blind boxes on wave one they have the wave two pet here but these are wave one pets the actual pet nook you can only get at five below then I got this at Target. I think you can find it in other places, but I've only seen it at Target. These are the Pet Trios. These are Wave 2. I actually really don't like this one because he looks like he has an actual turd on his head. He's metallic though, which is cute. But I don't know, I'm not here for turd head. And we have this lion. Uh, I was looking for the ones with the best paint jobs and I feel like these are, cause most of them had like some cracks in the painting on the monkey's face or their eyes were like smudged. But then we also have this zebra. So they say it's made out of the donkey mold, but I actually don't have any donkey G2 pets. And then I got this one. This one's a Target exclusive. This one's the one I, I honestly wanted the most because there's two exclusives. I think those are blind bag pets or blind box pets, but I didn't get all the blind boxes. So it worked in my favor because I'm not getting as many duplicates. Here's what it looks like on the outside. And then it's supposed to be like a little cardboard playhouse. And those are the two I'm... I really wanted just because I, I'm trying to collect as many as I can. I know I won't be able to because it's it's getting expensive. They have a, a set of two, which I'll put up on the screen, uh, and they have it for America, and I live in America right now, but I had to go to the UK shop and order it online because I couldn't find it anywhere at all. Like Literally, I couldn't even find it like ebay or anything and i was like oh my gosh don't tell me there's a really really rare pet but thankfully they're still selling it for real sale price through the uk store so i went on amazon and got it through uk i'm gonna end up getting the metallic one because the glitter one was america exclusive so i'm gonna get the uk one and then i have this one this is also another blind box pet i didn't get it in the blind box and i have it this one i'm gonna keep in the box the pet nooks itself are you can only get them at five below so i thought it'd just be nice to have one still in box i have these two so i i decided not to get the pet nooks because one i'd have now which i just showed you and this is my new one so it's just those four and then last but not least, it's this tube, has these uh, three pets. I really like the squirrel, the squirrel's my favorite. The bunny is fine. I hate the, like the eyelash teardrop personality mark thing. I really hate that. Like if it were up to me, I would just grab some like acetone or whatever and just rub it off, but then I ruined the pet. Uh, he's cute, uh, but yeah, those are the two sets I got. And then I have here on display the LPS that I do have. These two are different. They have different personalities. One has like a the diamond and these has the little thunderbolts, but they're considered different in the collector's guide. Um, and then some of these you'll recognize from blind boxes. Most of them I didn't get from blind boxes. Uh, this one is a metallic shade, which is pretty cool. I can't, I don't know if you can tell 
but it's like a little metallic. It's weird. It's like a white metallic. The only one I've actually gotten a double of is this panda. I got it back when the blind boxes, you could tell which one was which. And then I found one more wave two blind box in a store and I was like, oh, or wave one blind box in a store. I was like, oh my gosh, it's the last one in the store. I need to get it. And of course, of course, it had to be a double. It just had to be. It couldn't have been anything else it just had to be a double so I have a double of this one um, but I'm just gonna give it to my niece I think she'll like it we're just gonna be opening these today leaving that apart so we're gonna open these four and I'm gonna start with this hotel because I want to get the collector's guide off this one because I realized uh, these two like 198 and 199 they weren't in my wave two collector's guide that I already have and I'm like oh shoot I bet there's a million little spot shop that I don't even know about so let's start with this one. All right, so now we got the Lowe's Pet Shop Hotel, the Target exclusive. I'm gonna be trying really hard to not break or damage these boxes. Do I throw them away? Usually, yes, but this one in particular, I can use to store stuff. I'm gonna be putting a lot of my LPS actually on this wall starting tomorrow once I get uh, the little displays. But um, right now, I would love to keep this box intact and display my, probably my favorite LPS I think I might use this for. So this is what it looks like once you open it. That's the, I guess, the little play mat area. Uh, these two are encased in plastic with those little ties, uh, but then the rest are in paper. I didn't know that. That actually is really cool. I love how they're trying to go for more sustainable. Okay, so I'm going to be starting with the ones encased in plastic first. So I'm not, I'm going to take them out later. We'll show them to you, but you can see them pretty well right here. But his colors are cute. I like the blue and the purple. I'm never, it's not that I, I like only like cats and dogs, but I'm, none of them really stand out to me in like a really cute way, like, oh my gosh, I would die for it. Like, I really like the Oxalotl, but the Gecko has never been one of my favorites. But I still like him, he's cute. I think he might be actually my only Gecko. Here's that. And then we have this bird. Again, I don't like the birds that much. But here she is in the packaging. She looks pretty good. She's got the LPS logo on the back. She's just there, nice. The colors are not really my favorite either, but I do love this little heart they have on her chest. I don't know if you can see it very well. I think that's a really adorable touch. So that kind of brings a little bit of personality. If it didn't have that heart, I would absolutely hate this. We're gonna start here at the top and then work our way down. So let's open this. Oh, so here we have an accessory. I think this is popcorn. Ew. I don't really like the design of this popcorn. I did have this old popcorn accessory from here. It looks, it's in like a little bowl and stuff. This kind of looks like chunks of butter, like butter sticks, but it's popcorn. I mean, it's fine. I can definitely use it. That's the first one. Okay. And then here we have the dog. He's very, he's similar to the one I have here. Same type, but not the same color or style. I think there might be another one like this, but I'm glad I got this one because I like this one a lot more. I love the colors. I like the chocolate, the more neutral toned. They've been doing a lot more like pop colors. Like this monkey, for example, it's very bright. Uh, I've never been a bright LPS fan. I like some of them, but when they're tasteful, like this is not it for me, but I really like the like the more natural colors. I like the chocolatey look. Uh, he's really cute. And then we have that one there. Oh, this one's a shark or the dolphin, I think. Whale, whale. I think that's a whale. This one's the exclusive one. I, oh my gosh, I'm, I think like I'm really boring. Do you even like LPS? I never really cared for like the fish ones just because they never had the bobblehead. So as a kid, I hated whenever I would get any fish character. Like I was like, no, they have to have dark bobbleheads. Like this is, this just feels like a rubber ducky. Insert for Naomi here. I actually really like the dolphin. Like I'm just giving it a lot of hate right now. 
but it's just because it's a fish one and it doesn't have that bobblehead. But in general, I actually really like this whale. I think it's really cute, and especially now that I've had it a little longer, I've really just grown to like it. So I promise I'm not just a hateful person. I, I actually like Littlest Pet Shop, okay? Also, insert for myself again. I don't know why my microphone is doing that. I'm literally not touching it. Please save me. Okay, and this is definitely a little accessory. Oh, this is cute. That's a little cute, this little piece of pizza. I've never had a pizza accessory, so that's adorable. Then we have the little drink. That's cute, always a classic. Okay, here's the cat. She's so cute, I love her. I have another one in the same style like this, but I think I prefer this one. I'm not sure yet. I've never seen a cat with this coloring before, so it makes it kind of seem like a monkey. I don't know why, it makes me think monkey, but this one makes me think cat for sure. I like the orange in it. I think it's cute, definitely cute. I like this one a lot. And then the last pet, and here's the collector's guide and the Roblox card and the things. And here's the llama, here we go. This is the last one exclusive to the set. She's really cute. Ooh, I love that little, little like shawl thing. That's so adorable. It's really cute. Love her. Oh my gosh, I just realized they put the personality mark on the eyes. I love that. Yes, I miss that so much. Like, I'm not a fan, like I said before, at all of this type of personality mark. That just looks tacky to me. But this is just so cute. Ah, she's one of my favorites now. Love that they did that. So then here's the ones I just opened. And then there's the gecko. And then the bird. And I'll put them all out once we're done. And these are the rooms. This is kind of like outdoorsy, like the glass. This is someone's bedroom, like a little nightclub living room, pool, game room, living room, a cafe. Here's an elevator. Oh, I like this. It's definitely like a little hotel. And then here's the last little package with the collector's guide. Huh. It's a series one collector's guide. That's weird. I'm really confused. Cause like these pets are like 199, I think, and 198, the new one, but like there's not in any collector's guide. That's really weird. I did not expect to get this one. And we just got one of these, it's the gecko. But yeah, that's it for this pack. On to the next one. Okay, so here's this one. I took off a little bit of tape off camera because it was really hard to get off. But we're gonna start with this one. I can't wait to get this one out. Okay. All right. Okay, so here's the card. Back. Let's see who we get. Ooh, this is not satisfying at all. This one's a series two. As you can tell, you don't get the two that I just got in the Target thing on this collector's guide. Here's the pets. I mean, I open them up and then we'll set them apart. But it has some popcorn, a little drink again, and then some apples. I've noticed there's a lot of apple accessories with a lot of pets recently. I'll show you this, this one's the bird. He's cute. He kind of reminds me of the toucan that they took out with the purple color. Uh, it was also a postcard pet, which I also own the original. So I have this. I like it the way they put the um, mark. So on top of here, it's already kind of like scratching off the paint a little bit. That's a little bit annoying just because I love like a good paint job on these otherwise I don't see anything I did pick out the prettiest ones in the package and then here is the bunny again I'm not a big fan of the eyelashes or teardrops things make it seem like she's got tattoos you know it'd be kind of fun though to play like that she's killed six people and that's why she's got six teardrop tattoos in her face I, I like the black and white uh, these teardrops more look like more like stripes, so I kind of I'm okay with that. Uh, I like the tip of the ear there that they did that. I love that. 
uh, but it was kind of hard to find one where the paint wasn't like scattered all around here. It's just the best I could find. There's a little bit here that you can tell uh, it's kind of messy. But like I said, this is probably the best I could find. And this one's my favorite. Let me get her out of this thing. Okay, this is, I think this one's like a petripid squirrel. I'm not too familiar with it though. I love her though. I love the like the little bubblegum pink. It looks kind of like dusty pink. I don't know if it's showing up good on camera if it looks more cream, but it's a nice color scheme. I like how they made the eyes blue, pops a little bit. Other than that, not much to comment on her, but I like her a lot. She's really cute to me. The three accessories it comes with, a little drink again, nuts, and then uh, some apples. I like these nuts more than I like the popcorn we got earlier in the other set. I can't find it right now, but uh, it, it looks m much better quality. You can tell what it is better, and even the bucket is really cute, so I like this a lot more. And now we're going to be opening this one up. I like the like lion lioness a lot. I think it's really cute. So we're going to open this. Okay, just like last time. There's these. And this one's called... These are the zoo pets. The other ones were the park pets. So here's the card again. Again, a Gen 2 packet. And then it came with the monkey. Okay, I like the accessories that came with this a lot. It came with like a little lunch bag. It's adorable. Little bowl. And then it had this little plant, always welcome. So here's the zebra. She's got, I think that might be her uh, personality mark there. Not much, like I'm not ex excited for her as I was for like this horse. I know this is a zebra and this is a horse, but I much better prefer this even though I don't actually like horses in real life. I don't know, the colors work great. She pops. And this, it's like the mouth, I think, that I'm not really enjoying that much. But other than that, I do like that they made a zebra. I wish the stripes were maybe a little thicker. I like the body of it. I think that's cute. I think what's just throwing me off is the face a little bit. But I like the hair. I think that works good here. I do like the purple eyes on them. Here, the lion. I love this little... I actually like the personality mark on this one. A little bland colors, pretty normal, but I really like it. I think they should make a lot more neutral toned ones. The green eyes are good with this. Not much to say about it. I just think it's cute. I like this mold. Uh, they use the same for the Jaguar mold here. So they're the, both the same, but they definitely look different. You can tell they're different. They have big heads though, like compared to other pets. And next to this panda, you can see like a noticeable size difference. It's pretty big. I don't know if I can compare it, but it's pretty a lot bigger than the other ones. But I think they're just coming out with bigger heads in total. At least not as big as this. This to me looks like disproportionately big compared to other pets. He's got a huge head. But then there's that. And then last one is the poop head, metallic poop head. He's got that metallic head. Other than that, he's okay, he's fine. He, I'm glad they made one though, just so you can have like a different variety of like monkeys, not just a straight brown monkey. So I'm glad they made this one red, even though I was just dissing on the bright colors, but this was just an example I had. But I do like it on her. They could have just made a brown monkey, but they have so many brown monkeys in G2, so I'm glad they made them different. Not loving the poop head, but I don't know if this is an original G2 mold or what, but yeah, I'm not loving that. But other than that, he's cute. If they changed this top part, it would have been perfect for me. Metallic, loving it, love metallic pets. So, but his paint job is great. Yeah, he's, he's just good. And then last but not least, we're gonna be doing our little pet nook. Okay, here's this, the accessory came out, but here's this little table. Then we have some cheese with a little uh, veggie fruit thing on top, it's cute. And then we have our pet here. He is actually, they put some elastic on there, which is different, because all the others I've seen, they've had those little like 
ties that we show here. Like they've had these ties. This one actually came with an elastic, just like the older pets did. His paint job is okay. I don't know if you can tell, but here it's got some bubbling, a little bit of cracking there and then overlapping. Uh, his eye has that like scratch mark on it. But I'm just really, I'm. it looks like I'm just looking for stuff. I mean, here it's a little uneven, especially on camera, you can tell a lot. It looks a lot worse than it does in real life, but like from afar, I wouldn't have even thought twice, uh, except for this little belly thing, just because it's such a contrasting color. Uh, his eye is a little messy, but not anything, again, that's horrible. And then here is the pet nook. They all connect from the top and the sides, they latch on, then you have like this little stackable house thing, but I don't have any more other than the one I'm gonna leave in box. But that's okay with me, because I'm not gonna be playing with these much. I like the little stand thing. I think this would be really cute to put some pets in, to display them. And yeah, I actually really like the little design. I prefer little drawn on stuff. This is like a little cheese store. Little mouse pet in here would be so cute. But yeah, that's it. And I'm gonna, for opening stuff up, and I'm just gonna display everything I got and tell you my thoughts. Okay, so these are all the pets I got with their accessories. Those are all of those. And then these are the accessories I got. I think they're really cute. Overall, my thoughts, these are my three favorites. I do like this one, I do like that. But the rest, honestly, to me, they were kind of like give or take. Like when I was at the store and I saw like these trio pets, I didn't really reach for them. There's something that makes me not be like, oh my gosh, I love these to death. And I can't tell what it is. I can't pinpoint it, but at least I do like these. These are more neutrally pastel-y colors. Maybe that's it. But even then, like, oh, he's not, he's not a part of this. I'm happy with what I got, and I'm excited I got these. I think they're great additions to my collection. Can't wait to display them. Um, my favorite pet so far, I still think, is this horse, just because, I don't know, it pops so well. I love those little diamonds. I just really love this pet a lot. Thanks, you guys, for watching. I'm really excited that you guys got to see me display part of my collection, or at least the newer part of my collection. Are you guys collecting these as well? Let me know. And um, which ones are your favorite from the ones I got today and just in general from G7? Are there any of these that you're like, no, Naomi, you're crazy. That's literally perfect. Like, do you love this bunny? Am I missing out? Do you love, I feel like a lot of people probably like this whale and I'm just, I'm just uh, the worst critic ever, but yeah. Just let me know guys. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.